other day, a business owner came up to me and asked me what I could do to help him get better employees. I told him a story of an experience that I had with a client in the past that uh, reflected what, how I could help him and the impact that I can have on the business by helping him hire better quality employees than what had been done in the past. This customer, the owner had been um, hire, trying to hire sales people. His business was at a million five. He wanted it to get significantly larger than that. He had tried hiring salespeople, hadn't found the right salesperson, but he wanted his desire to hire a salesperson was so great that he would hire okay salespeople. They would stay in three or four months, wouldn't deliver the results that he wanted, and he would either have to fire them or they would leave. So he brought me on board and we worked for three months, four months, defining what he wanted and then helping him sift through employees' resumes to find his ideal candidate. And he did find one. It took longer than he expected, but the results were worth the wait. This employee took that business from a million five to 4.8 million in two and a half years. So the impact of waiting was well worth it. And so I want to share with you a couple of the ideas I worked with this business owner on to make sure that he found that right employee. The first is don't hire average. It's so tempting when a position becomes open to want to jump in and immediately fill it. And what we tend to fill it with is our people that are average. And that's because your ideal candidates are probably working for somebody else. They're probably happy where they are. They're not out looking for jobs. So you've got to create a compelling reason why somebody would want to come to work for you when they're happy where they are. Now, happy people will leave jobs to work for an organization that is exciting, that they see great growth potential, that has is doing a, a, a cause that's important to the employee. Those are the things that will excite people and get them to move even if they're happy in a job. But most business owners don't think that way. They post a job, they talk about a job, and those happy people, it doesn't appeal to them. So the only people that the owners are left sifting through are average people. So the first step, stop thinking about hiring average and think about hiring top quality talent. The second thing I told him is that, you know, along what we just talked about, you have to create a compelling reason why somebody would want to leave where they are now, where they're happy, and to come to work for you. And the ways you do that is through your leadership. It's creating an inspiring vision for where this company is going. Where is this, what ride are we going to go on? Creating a company where people want to work. The morale is high, they're having fun. Word gets out that this is a fun company to work for and they actually have people waiting in a, on a waiting list to come work for them. That's kind of the atmosphere that you wanna create in your business. So company culture is key, not settling for average is key. And the third thing I told them was what you really have to focus on is clearly defining the roles of this position, the responsibilities of the position, and who the ideal candidate would be to fill that position. When I say ideal candidate, I'm talking about their technical skills and also the personal skills. I find all too often that people overlook the personal skills and they could be the best uh, electrician, they could be the best CPA, they could be the best doctor, but they're always late. They're indecisive, they're terrible communicators, they're not team players, and so this person that seemed like they were ideal really becomes cancerous and that you have to let them go. So it's very important that you take time to think about what are the personal and, uh, and technical skills that you want this person to possess. Beside this video is a link to my online calendar. Click on it and let's schedule a free 30 minute conversation where I'll help you walk through these ideas and talk about and help you think about what it is you can do in your business to create that compelling reason 
why somebody who's happy where they are would want to come to work for you. I look forward to talking to you.